everyone. My name is Beth Safarian. I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist at Proactive Pelvic Health Center. So today I'm here to tell you and talk to you a little bit about the difference between the vulva and the vagina. A lot of the time those two words get used interchangeably, but they're very different um, structures of our anatomy. So first and foremost, um, the vulva is anything that's more or less external to our body where our underwear can touch this area, for example. So what we're going to start talking about would be the mons pubis. So that is the fatty tissue of area just above um, uh, the pubic bone kind of area. So it's soft fatty tissue. As you move down, I'll use this model here. As you move down through the mons pubis, you come to the clitoris, which is this yellow dot right through here. Okay, moving further down, you're going to move to the opening of the urethra, which is in what's called the vestibule. The vestibule is the transition zone from the vulva to the vagina. Okay, so um, now in this area we are in the vestibule. So the urethral opening is in the vestibule followed by two sets of glands. One of the glands is called Skene's glands which would be approximately here and here and then the other glands are a bit lower probably around here or here. Those are called, called uh, Bartholin glands. Okay, so the vestibule is the urethral opening and the two sets of glands. Okay, once we move um, away from the vestibule, we move to the perineal um, or the perineum or perineal body, which is the tissue right through here. So you can see it's an area where a lot of pelvic floor muscles converge onto. It's the area between the opening of the vagina or the vestibule and the anus, okay? Um, the other parts of the vulva that we haven't talked about yet would be the labia majora. Um, these are the fatty outer lips of the, of the vulva, um, which have pubic hair on them. The inner lips of the vulva are called the labia minora and they are pictured um, through here. So these tissues through here, okay? Um, so that makes up the majority of uh, the external area, which is the vulva. Like I said, the vestibule is just inside the labia minora up until the hymenal tissue, okay? Once you get past the hymenal tissue, that's when we go in towards um, the tissues of the vagina. So the vagina is made up or the layers of specialized skin tissue are called mucosa, okay? The vagina can range anywhere from five centimeters to 14 centimeters in length. So there's a lot of variability there. Um, the vaginal canal ends at the cervix, which is the opening to the uterus. Um, if you were to insert your finger into your vagina and press downward, that would be the posterior wall of the vagina, which is right underneath is where the rectum would sit. If you were to go the opposite way, so insert your finger this way and press upwards in this direction, you would be pressing on the anterior wall of the vagina, which is where the bladder is. Okay, so long story short, vulva is external, anything that the underwear touches, okay? The vagina is internal, um, past where any hymenal tissue would be, okay? And the vestibule is that transition zone in between the two.